Welcome to body efficiency training and in this video we're going to be doing an arm swinging body flow qigong style workout. It's an intermediate workout so do it at your own pace, just do what you can do, nice and easy, nice and relaxed. And start off by just rolling your shoulders and doing some big circles up, rising onto the ball of your feet, uh, no need to fall forward like that, and then we'll begin. So we're starting off with a twisting left and right and we're standing up nice and tall, locking out the legs or reasonably straight legs, feeling a twist in the hips down to the ankles. You're still on the ball of the feet but be careful not to twist the knee. And always we're focusing on pulling in the waistline, pull in the TA muscle, pull in the obliques, lift up the shoulders and the rib cage, and twist left and right from there. Now we're sinking a bit lower but you allow the sink to come in from the hips. You project your bottom slightly backwards so you've got an arm arch in the lumbar spine and now you're shifting your weight a little bit left and right to allow a bit more swing in the hips, a bit more rotation of the hips and rise up onto the ball of the foot, the tippy toes of the back leg as you shift your weight further and further and twist further and further. Nice loose arms but keep the shoulders and rib cage lifted up, feel the rib cage move, stretch to the back as you swing, keep the stomach, the belly pulled in nice and tight so you feel the stretch in the obliques and the spine. Now we're doing nice big circles in a horizontal plane, reaching out across your body with the arm, feel the elongation and the stretch, and now just side to side, swinging the arms up and down, rising up and stretching out to the tippy toe of the opposite leg, again nice S curve in the spine, and now we bounce a little bit faster, let the arms drop in front of your body, but keep the shoulders and the rib cage up, keep the S curve of the spine, always keeping the, the TA muscle, the belly pulled in, and the obliques tight, so you keep the waistline tight and always bouncing into the hips so nothing in the knees the knees no pressure and now we're drawing a big circle up across the front of our face up and down side to side as we're twisting left and right nice easy fluid flowing motion just feel the twist through the spine and the twist extend out the arms and now we're just twisting on the spot like you're walking along but waving the arms a little bit like a snake try and feel a wave in the spine a twist in the spine lifting the shoulders up, lifting the rib cage up and moving the rib cage as you roll the shoulders and wave the arms. And now a little bit closer, shoulder width, bouncing up and down, but remember bouncing the hips, swinging the arms like you're marching along. Arms go up and uh, back and front, feel the twist and the stretch in the spine, lifting up the shoulders and the rib cage as you swing the arms, nice loose elbows and fingers, feel the bounce unifying through the whole body, but always keeping the midriff tight, slight arch in the lumbar. Now nice and easy, just do this as well as you can, no, no force, no pressure, if you can do this nice and big swing then fine but if not just as much as you can do you're swinging the arm in a big circle bouncing up and down and feeling the stretch in the rib cage try and feel the bounce through the whole spine flinging your arm out in a circle so you do the right arm and you do the left arm backwards and forwards here we're doing backwards feel the bounce feel a rotation in the rib cage uh, the rib cage moves as the arm swings this will enable a deeper swing in the arm so it's not all in the shoulder it's also in the rib cage and the spine and again now we go forwards and feel it throughout your whole body unification of the spine into the swing of the arm uh, but remember no pressure on the knees make sure you're not feeling a bounce in the knees the bounce is in the in the hips and if anything the ankles but at the moment we're still flat footed so the bounce is in the hip joint and back to swinging left and right and when you swing left and right you're feeling the alignment of the spine now marching on the spot but we're doing a sort of a pr primal lifting up marching so you've got to pull your hips back as you lift your leg up so you're feeling that you've still got an arch in the spine you pull the stomach in and use the projection of the hips to help lift the legs up and a bit more work in the hips we're shifting weight side to side but trying to sink into the opposite hip so when you sink your weight into one leg you, you project that hip a little bit backwards feel the stretch in the hips as you're shifting your weight side to side and now a nice loosening up rotation of the hip joint lift your knee up in front and rotate out to the side again no effort in the knee this is all control of the hip joint rotate the hip try and gain the maximum range of motion in your hip joint now loosen up the legs shake out the feet shake out the hands always go back to a little bit of relaxation make sure you've got no residual tension in your body now you swing your arms bouncing up and down I call this cross-country skiing but you're just bouncing a bit further now try and get a swing in your arms and 
whip the hands down at the end. So relaxed elbows and fingers, but keep the, a certain amount of tension in the spine. You've got the stomach pulled in, you're levering from the hips, so the spine stays in this natural S curve. Then you slow it down and control it, hands float up and fall down. Nice and easy. Now we do big circles coming up on the inside, back of the wrists, back of the palms together, and out and down around the outside. Rising up onto the ball of the feet and sinking down, letting the knees go out so you can keep a vertical spine. Still an S curve in the spine, pull the stomach in. Now you're trying to bounce it up. You bounce it up, fling the arms up in the circle, and as you bounce down, they fall down at the sides. Try and feel the rhythm through the whole spine, bouncing. Remember, bouncing in the ankles and the hips, not the knees. Very important. Get the bouncing in the ankles and the hips, and now the opposite. Palms up on the outside, come down in the middle. Back of the palms or front of the palms together is fine either way. And loosen up again, twisting left and right. We're trying to find the, the perfect alignment of the spine. Very difficult to do, so we're always aware of it. We're always trying to improve our spinal alignment. And now sinking down again, rising up the hands and sinking down, nice and controlled, nice and fluid, nice and smooth. Rise up onto the ball of the feet, sink down, project the hips back. Pull in the stomach, but you've got an arch in the spine. Rise up as you inhale, sink down as you exhale. Rise up, float up, sink down, float down. And again now a bit looser, try and feel the rhythm, let the arms swing and fall. So you're using the bounce to help rise the arms, using the bounce to help drop the arms, nice and loose. Again, shake out the arms and legs, whip out the, the feet, flick out the toes, trying to loosen up the ankles, loosen up the toes, very important. Get the, the re relaxation all the way down the legs. Now bend forward, as you're bending forward, lean just above the knees, uh, and, uh, and now actually what we're doing here is massaging the knees. So you massage the knees with the thumbs around the kneecap. So there you go, loosen up the knees, very important, make sure there's no tension in the knees. And now here, loosen up the hip joint. We're doing an Elvis knees, turn the, the hip joint right in and flex right over onto the, onto the instep, the ball of the foot, uh, sorry, the tippy toes. And a big circle, breathe in, hands come down, hold your hands on the belly, now stand in a nice upright position. You're very slightly on the ball of the feet, lock out the legs, squeeze the glutes, so you're pushing your pelvis forward, but you're not tucking it under, you still got an S, an S curve, a slight lumbar arch, pull in the TA muscle, lift up the rib cage, tilt the sternum slightly up, open the ribs, nice upward standing position. Okay, well done everyone, I hope you enjoyed this workout, look forward to seeing you in the next video.